Hi everyone, so for this video I am combining finance with fashion. One of the ways that I have been able to save thousands of dollars and put those well saved dollars to really good use for the thousand dollar project where I saved and invested over $32,000 in 12 months and did it again in 13 months where I did $36,000 is by buying pre-loved clothes. Now more often than not when I'm wearing one of my favorite secondhand pre-loved dresses I get asked heaps of questions like where I got it from and when I openly and honestly tell people actually I bought it secondhand I then get all these questions as to like but how did you know to trust the person how did you know it was gonna fit how did you know it was the right color so I thought I had better share this money saving tip with you as quickly as possible so that you can save some money but also you can help save the environment because when you buy pre-loved you're also reducing your consumption on this planet now these are the rules that I follow when buying pre-loved clothes and not only have they helped me save a lot of money but I have absolutely loved these items now as a special treat I'm actually going to share with you my favorite dresses that I have bought pre-loved and I'm going to share with you the story behind them how much money I actually saved and also let you know that some of these dresses I've decided to let go of I'm actually going to sell them and pass them on now for the dresses that I'm definitely holding on to I have managed to find some of these dresses on the secondhand market so I will share those links with you and if I haven't been able to I found you something pretty darn close which is just as good so I really hope you enjoy this video and listen up to these fantastic money-saving tips all right, rule number one, I stick to the brands that I know. I'm a really fussy shopper. There are only a few brands that I shop from. And the reason behind this is because I know the quality, I know the fabric, I know how well they wear, I know the color scheme and the palettes that they use, but most importantly, I know what size I am. When you're buying a new brand or a brand that you're not that familiar with, how do you know what size you are? You might be a size six with one brand or an eight or a 10 with another. It really does open up a lot of risks. So only buy pre-loved clothes from brands that you have a lot of purchasing experience with. The second rule that I follow is I ask to see photographs of the person wearing this item. I will never go buy a flat lay. The reason why is when something's actually worn, it may hang quite differently or the fabric might be quite stiff or the fabric might be really quite sheer. When I've gone to buy something and I've quickly asked for a photograph of the person wearing it and I've seen it and I've gone, oh, hang on, that's too short or that looks like it would be too tight on me or that just isn't right the right color. It makes a huge difference and it has stopped me from so many disastrous purchases where I would have ended up wasting money. Now, if it isn't possible to get a photograph of that person wearing that particular item, what I will go and do is Google that item. So for example, you might take a lover denim dress and when I find it online, not only do I get to see real pictures of the dress with no filters and lots of different angles, I also get to see how other people have styled and worn that particular item. So I get inspiration myself. The third rule that I follow is I will stick to trustworthy websites. Websites such as eBay, Vestory Collective, The Real Real, and High End on Facebook. And I always use my PayPal account to pay for these things because then I have that layer of protection through the insurance. So if something goes missing in the mail or it turns up not looking as described, I've got a point of contact. Someone can help me get my money back and return the item. Fifth and final rule that I follow that not only helps me save money, but also helps me earn and make and hustle some extra cash to put back into the thousand dollar project is when I'm done with that dress or it doesn't fit me anymore or I don't use it as much as I thought I would I simply put it back on the secondhand economy I sell that dress on and I pass it on and it's a great way of bringing in some extra cash that I can use to put towards another secondhand dress or as I said put it towards the thousand dollar project all right now let me show with you what I've bought and how much money I have saved starting with this lover dress I bought this dress on high end on Facebook now this is a closed group on Facebook so if you want to be a part of this you need to add me as a friend on Facebook so I can get you to join this group um, it is lover um, it was the size that I knew I'd actually tried this on the shop previously but didn't buy it because it was really expensive but I have worn this dress so many times it's a fantastic dress that you can dress up and down and I think I saved about $400 by buying this pre-loved. The next dress I bought was actually for the races. Um, this is one that I 
saw online never actually went in and tried on because it sold out so quickly when it came up again on high end um, I think I picked it up for like $200 love I do this cut year after year after year so I knew that it would always stay in fashion now it's a neoprene fabric it's stretchy so I knew I was quite safe with size um, being long sleeved I knew I could wear this um, as it gets colder for racing season and it's just a great dress and great, great color scheme to wear with nude shoes, which is what I have as part of my capsule wardrobe collection. So again, I probably saved, I think, at least $350 by buying this secondhand. The next dress that I bought, I reckon I saved about $1,200. And I bought this um, from someone who I've bought dresses from in the past. Um, she must have a really similar like body shape to me because her dresses, when they arrive, when I buy them from her, always fit perfectly. This is actually an Alex Perry dress. I think this retails for about $1,800 and I think I paid a little less than $600 for this dress. Um, it's got a zip all the way at the back which is really quite elegant but it's a really classic style. I knew that I could wear this a lot. I could wear it for a cocktail party, I could wear it to the races, I could wear it on Channel 9. Um, it's a really comfortable dress and again that savings is fantastic and I don't think I would ever pay $1,800 for a dress so it's such an honor to be able to wear something as beautiful as this and I get so many comments when I wear this. Now this is another dress. It's a Victoria Beckham dress and Again, I think Victoria Beckham dresses like go up to like over $2,000. Again, I think I paid, I think around about $600 or $650 for this dress. Again, similar, and it's got a zip down the back. It's a stretchy fabric. It's incredibly classic. I've worn this to the races and I've worn this on Channel 9 um, lots of times. And it's a really simple classic dress that will never go out of style. So even though it costs me $600, um, it's a designer brand. And I know that it's going to last a lifetime. It will never go out of style. Next dress I want to share with you is actually really interesting. I bought this um, from a girl from High End and um, she, um, we actually kind of did a bit of a trade. She messaged me and said, oh, I've been wanting to come in and see you and talk to you about my finances and have a consultation. So we did a bit of a trade where she bought the dress in um, and um, she got to sit and talk to me about her finances and it was great. Now this dress um, would have cost probably her about, I think, $500 to $600. And I think I ended up buying it from her for about $120. And again, it is very elegant, really chic. It's lace, um, really comfortable, nice and long, perfect for winter time. I absolutely love it. Next dress is another fantastic savings. I bought this from eBay. It is Dion Lee. Now, Dion Lee's dresses is one of my favorite brands, but they are really expensive, like between $650 to like some of his dresses now go up to $1,800. I bought this for $120 from eBay. It is so comfortable and it is, again, so classic and chic. I've worn this to the races. I've worn this to cocktail parties. I've worn this with a blazer over for work because it's just so stylish and elegant. And I have actually managed to find the exact dress on eBay for you. So I will put all the links in the video description box below. Next one is... Scanlon and Theodore. This is again one of my other favorite brands. Now one of my girlfriends has this dress and when I saw it on her I was like oh I love your dress so much and she was getting so many comments about how beautiful it was. I said to her if you ever decide to get rid of it I will like I want first options to be able to buy it from you. Anyway she said no way this dress is too good. So I held a little faith and knew that because the second hand economy is so big and so many girls do sell their dresses, sure than not, about three months later, I managed to get this dress, um, buy it on eBay, and again, I think I saved another $300 by buying it secondhand. And it turned up pretty much brand new, as did all the other dresses I've bought. I think it was like worn once or twice. And again, stretchy fabric, so nice and safe. Because I'd seen it on my friend, I knew the color and the fabric would be perfect. I'm familiar with this brand. It has been a great buy. And I reckon I've worn this dress probably about like 18 times. So my cost per wear is really low with this. And I'm definitely not parting with it anytime soon. But I have found this in a range of other colors as well as this one for you. So check the links in the video description box below. Next dress is A Lover, another brand that I'm really familiar with and know what size I am. Again, beautiful, cute, short, fun cocktail dress. Fantastic for the colder months with the long sleeves, but breathes a lot with the lace. 
um, a really comfortable dress, timeless, chic and elegant. And again, I think I picked this up for about $200. Now, um, this brand, um, as I said, it can be quite expensive. It can go up to $650, if not more, for these dresses. So again, I saved at least $300, if not more, by buying secondhand. And the final one that I want to share with you, it's an Alice McCall dress. Now, I actually tried this on in the shop um, when it first came out. It came out in black as well. And I ummed and ahed for so long. And then finally, because I'm such a fussy shopper, when I finally went to go and buy this dress, it had sold out. But again, I had faith in the secondhand economy. I had a feeling this dress would turn up again. And believe it or not, about three weeks later, or if not less, I found someone selling the exact dress that I wanted for about three or four hundred dollars less than what it had sold for in the store. Now, this is one of the dresses that I'm actually deciding I'm going to let go of. So I will link directly my eBay account where you can see this for yourself and decide if you want to buy it. But it's an incredibly comfortable dress, so chic and so elegant. And I really actually loved having this dress. But I've got too many white dresses, so I've decided I need to do a little bit of a cull. So with a heavy heart, I'm letting this dress go to the second hand economy. All right, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please make sure you go and check out all the links below and have a look at any of the clothes that I'm selling on eBay. It is a fantastic way of saving money. Never turn your nose up at buying pre-loved. You will save so much money. And it also feels so good when you sell these items and pass them on. You're giving a beautiful dress, a new adventure and a new journey. Have a great week, everyone. And don't forget, you can follow me on my personal account at Canna Sass on Instagram or at Sugar Mama TV for the Sugar Mama account. Ciao for now, everyone.